So when you went and you started with the dating apps, what did you what did you hope for? What were you expecting? Were you looking to meet someone? Of course. Or, or, or I was looking, looking for the same thing that everyone who goes on a dating app is looking for. I was looking for sex, love, companionship, anybody who dates. I was just a person who dates. I was looking for, I had had my heart broken. I was looking to be with somebody. If that was for, you know, if that was for one night, I'm not, not open to that. That can be really fun before. <laughs> I mean, once upon a time it was, but I was looking for connection, just like everybody else who dates. I am no different from anyone else. Are you saying, are you, do you think that there's something different about me personally? No, when I, I went I'm, into I'm, I'm, I think maybe you've been hurt by this review and you see that any questioning of your experience, which you wrote about so frankly, is somehow judgmental. And I'm trying to understand your reaction to it in the context of how disheartening these apps, your thesis, these apps have made dating. Um, and, and, and one of the things I, I, that I was surprised by that if you are, because I think we're actually exact contemporaries, I may be one year older than you are. If you are looking for companionship, you set your your parameters, I think, for 25 to 29 year old young men, correct? Is that wrong? Well, no, but I don't think it's going to necessarily lead to the kind of companionship that you would want. Why do you think that? Because I don't think men of that age are necessarily looking to get married. I never wanted to get married to anybody. I don't want to get married. Maybe they're not also susceptible to long term relationships at that age. So you do think that it was on me that that the reason no, why I, just, I had I just think the, it reason, was... the reason why I had these experiences, which included sexual assault, was on me because I set my no, discovery not, wrong. You're, Is that you're, what you're you're, no, you're projecting. What I'm trying to say is that when you invite a 27 year old man you don't know to your apartment to have quick sex that minute, not like even get to know, not even for a Listen, drink. You're, that, that's not you're, gonna lead you, to the last you, you, You've crossed the line, I'm sorry. You've crossed the line. I've so How did I cross the line? Because what you just said was so slut shaming. And I, I wanted I see to- see how it's slut shaming. Tell me how I'm slut shaming. Tell me how I'm slut shaming. I will tell you in a second. I will tell you in a second. You interrupt me a lot too, which I wish you wouldn't do. I wish you would allow me to finish my thoughts before you start talking again. Can I do that? Go ahead. Okay. So I would love for this to work out. I would love to be able to talk to you, you know, in a, in a way that's positive and helps people listening who've been through these things as I have to know that they're not alone. I feel from our conversation and the things that you've said to me so far, I feel judged by you and I feel slut shamed by you. And these are things that I have a right to feel based on what you've said. And you, I think are in the position as the interviewer to want to know why I feel that way, not to argue that I shouldn't, but- I did, I asked you, why do okay, you feel that way? Okay, okay, maybe you would learn something more, not just about me, but about this culture, about what young women, young people are going through, if you would listen to what I have to say, and also to listen to what I have to say about what you said, and not be defensive, and not think that, you know, I'm just overreacting to a bad review or something. And once again, that person knew me, and we have a weird history. It's something so petty, it's not even worth talking about. But people who know you and had little disputes over time and you should not be writing reviews of your book. So can I tell you what I think is slut shaming about what you've said? Go ahead. And what I think that my, I'm, I'm pretty sure a lot of my friends and young women friends would think is slut shaming about what you said. What I believe you said was what were you thinking? you set your discovery at men in their 20s and you're old 
And well, so you're my age. So I called myself old too. Okay. I'm 58. Actually. Okay. So you are, you're saying that I, I'm old, so I'm not. Uh, no, no. I'm just saying it's a big disparity okay. uh, for male or female. Oh, and what is, okay. So here's my questions going through my mind when you say these things to me. So, <laughs> I mean, so what is wrong with that? I mean, I don't really get what's wrong with that to you, but, um, and what were you thinking? Because when you had these young men come over to your house and you just had them come over to have quick, quickie sex. Well, I don't know where in my book you got that. That's what, that's your projection. Cause there's no, no there was, there was incident after incident. It's not my projection. It's incident this. after incident. Where are my pearls? Where are my pearls? You what I'm, what I'm arguing with, what, oh my God, incident after incident. What I'm objecting to here is that you say that I was asking them over to my house just to fuck. Is that, is that what you're saying? If that's that, what you write about and you say no. that. <laughs> say that, you say that over and find, over. Find me the passage. In the I, book I, I, the, I would just open the whole book. I mean, it it's, is not, it's absolutely not true. You had a, I, I mean, and then you would it's meet them in It's your, your I mean, it's your, it's your, oh my God, I met them in my gym. Oh my God, Nancy Joe, what were you thinking? No, you're, you are, you are, you are twisting my words. I am genuinely. You are twisting my words. I never, there's not a passage in the book and, and we, I'll get your email. I'd like you to. I, I would be delighted. I will okay. do that. All and right. you classified guys by their, the way they fuck, like you had nicknames for them. Listen. So I'm just this, saying that it was a listen, kind of. A, listen, kind of I'd like to tell, if you're going to publish this review or this, if you're going to publish this interview, I'd like to tell your viewers. Listeners. Listeners. I'd like to tell your listeners that this person who's interviewing me is not someone who is, who seems to be able to understand my book, nor has she read it. She's not a good reader of my book. And I feel uncomfortable. I feel slut shamed. And I just, I don't think you got my book or why I wrote it. And I, I do really um, thank you and appreciate you having me come on your podcast, but this is going to be over now because you have insulted me. You've offended me. You've been really kind of ugly to me. And, and I, I think it's so, it's so sad because you are supposed to be so interested in modern culture. And yet you're not, you're like pinning all of this on like the stupidity of this old slut is basically what you're saying to me. And that's you're not good. letting me, you're not letting me, and I, and I hate to talk about myself this way, but I have to tell your viewers, a uh, Yale and Columbia educated, best-selling award-winning journalist and author, also a documentary filmmaker, you're not talking to me with the respect that I deserve. So this interview is over. Okay, I'm sorry you feel that way. <laughs>